the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Interview with President of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, passed away historian Artak Movsisian. The reaction of the citizens of Western Armenia to the unleashed war against Artsakh. President of the Republic of Artsakh, Aray Karutunyan, heads to the front line with special units. Today, not only our but region's fate is being decided, Arturun Albanisian. Passed away Vladimir Balayan's widow, treasure found in Ufa province of Western Armenia. The state television of Western Armenia interviewed President Armenak Abrahamian. During the interview, President Armenak Abrahamian touched upon a number of issues and presented the position of Western Armenia. In particular, he referred to the First Artsakh Liberation War, the hostilities along the border of the Artsakh Republic, Turkey's involvement in the war, and Azerbaijan's internal political problems. President Armenak Abrahamian presented the concerns of the Armenians of Western Armenia in the current situation and called on the soldiers standing at the border and all Armenia. The full version of the interview is available on our website and YouTube channel. Today, with a deep sorrow, we learned about the untimely death of Artak Movsisian, member of the National Council of Western Armenia, great Armenian historian, head of the Chair of Armenian History at the Yerevan State University Faculty of History, Doctor of Historical Sciences. The role of Artak Movsisian is invaluable in the patriotic work of covering the Armenian history, the genealogy and passing it on to the generation. His contribution to the National Council of Western Armenia at the UN Congress of Indigenous People together with President Armena Gabrahamian and the joint presentation with the Minister of Education of the Republic of Western Armenia of Western Armenian history is also significant. As a result of the war unleashed in Artsakh by Azerbaijan and its ally Turkey, Armenians all over the world stand firmly with each other and carry out various protests. Protests were also held in the French cities of Marseille, Paris and Lyon, where thousands of people gathered near the Azerbaijani embassy. A number of citizens of Western Armenia are actively participating in the demonstration, expressing their justified anger against the occupier policy of Azerbaijan, supported by Turkey as a result of which innocent Armenian soldiers and civilians are being killed these days. The citizens of Western Armenia, together with the Armenians of the whole world, strongly condemn this war unleashed as a result of the criminal cooperation between Azerbaijan and Turkey. They call on the Armenians to be united, to show their unbreakable will on this difficult path which will eventually lead to the victory. President of Artsakh, Aray Karutunyan, announced he is personally heading to the front line to fight against the Azerbaijani ongoing aggression. Addressing the country's military and volunteers, he said in a statement that heavy battles of various intensity are taking place at the entire length of the line of contact. Civilian settlements, including the capital Stepanakert, were shelled. The nation and the homeland are endangered. The right to live and create freely, independently, and with dignity on our own land liberated at the cost of the blood of our brave Armenians is endangered. Therefore, I am now going to the front line with the special forces to fight for my part because I will be more valuable on the front line than in the rear. I call on all of you to immediately stand up and defend our right to live in our homeland without danger with complete devotion. This is a holy patriotic war which we must win with the maximum participation and dedication of everyone, said Artsakh President Aray Karutunyan. Today, not only the fate of all of us, but also the fate of the region is being decided. Representative of the Ministry of Defense of Armenia wrote about this on his Facebook page. It should be reminded that on September 27, the Azerbaijani armed forces launched a large-scale attack in Artsakh targeting the civilian population. The enemy has more than 3,000 victims. Thousands are wounded. From the Armenian side, according to the preliminary data, there are 158 victims and more than 200 wounded. With a deep sorrow, we informed the widow of the legendary commander hero of Artsakh, Leonidas Galdian's comrade in arms, one of the founders of the Liberation Army, Vladimir Balayan, Mareta Harutunyan, passed away. The president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, expresses his condolences to the family members and all their relatives. A jar filled with coins was found during the installation of a water supply line in the Siverek Urfa province of Western Armenia. According to the information received, Bülent Chikai, who was drilling with the construction machine, noticed the jar and stopped the work. He and his colleagues reported the situation to the police. An investigation by the police team that arrived at the scene revealed the ring and 44 coins. The detachment sent the jar and the coins to the museum administration to find out whether they have historical value or not. 
Now let us represent your attention a song by Agung Kelelao. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.